Konnichiwa and welcome to Sumo Prime Time. I'm Hiro Morita. It's day 13 of the May tournament coming away from the home of Sumo Kokugikan in Tokyo. After 12 days, comeback Yokozuna Teruno Fuji is the leader of the pack in the top Makunouchi division. There's also an exciting championship race going on in the second tier Jiryo division. And that's where we start today's Sumo Prime Time. So let's get the show rolling. Sumo Prime Time. Entering day 13, Gonoyama and Ochiai are the co leaders, each with 11 wins and one loss. The two faced off against one another on day 11, and it was Gonoyama defeating then undefeated Ochiai. And that is the reason why we have the two way tie for the top spot in Jubio between Gonoyama and Ochiai. All right, first, we start with Ochiai. On day 13, the 19-year-old sensation fought Shonan no Umi. Good charge by the two. They lock up in Hidari Yosu, left hand inside, right hand outside. Looks like Ochiai has, doesn't have the weapon. He goes for the Maki Kai, the changing of the grip. It doesn't work, they separate. Shonan Oni goes after, but Shonan Oni allows Ochiai to go deep inside and Shonan Oni in trouble. And Ochiai shoves him down to the clay. Ochiai wins over Shonan no Ubi. And Ochiai advances to 12 and 1. What a match by Ochiai. Hello, I'm Paul all right, here is the other Jiryo co-leader, and that is Gonoyama. On day 13, Gonoyama met Shimazu Umi. An explosive charge by Gonoyama. Gonoyama advances. Gonoyama wants to make a quick work of Shimazu Umi, but Shimazu Umi recovers. Shimazu Umi gets taken down by Gonoyama. What a throw at the edge by Gonoyama. Gonoyama was on the ropes, but he came away with the W because of a magnificent throw by Gonoyama at the edge. What a come from behind victory by Gonoyama. So after 13 days in Juryo, there is a two-way tie for the top spot. Gonoyama and Ochiai are tied for the lead, and Atami Fuji right behind those two leaders at two losses. Sumo, prime time. The sole leader, Yokozuna Teruno Fuji, is flexing his muscles. He did get beat on day 9, but that's been his only blemish so far. He looks powerful and competing with full of energy. The Yokozuna looks determined to win his 8th championship. He still has work cut out for him though, as he'll be meeting rugged opponents on each of the final 3 days. Sumo Prime Time. Asano Yama is competing in the top division for the first time in two years, and he's already making his presence felt. The former Ozeki suffered his second setback on day 12, but currently he is right behind Ten Fuji at 10 wins and 2 losses. And here we are. On day 13, the two titans clashed in the middle of the ring. It is Teruno Fuji, the tournament leader at 11 wins and 1 loss against Asano Yama at 10 and 2. An explosive charge by Asano Yama. Asano Yama goes in deep. And look at the Kote Nage arm lock throw by Teruno Fuji and Teruno Fuji is the winner and the Yokozuna remains the sole leader after 13 days. Asano Yama gave his best shot, but he comes up short. Teruno Fuji making a quick work of Asano Yama. Asano Yama got an inside position deep with the left hand, but Teruno Fuji had the answer with the Kotenage arm lock throw. I, Kiribayama. Kiriba Yama is also in the mix at 10 wins and 2 losses. He is gunning for promotion to Ozeki. Kiriba Yama has now racked up a total of 33 wins in the 3 recent tournaments combined 
which is widely considered as the benchmark number of wins to earn the promotion to the second highest rank. That said, Kiribayama won't relax just yet. That's because he's aiming to win back-to-back -back championships. On day 13, he faced off against Hokuseiho. One touch by Kiribayama inside deep on Hokusei Ho. Hokusei Ho has a, the over the shoulder grip with the water, but he loses it. Kiribayama looking good. Kiribayama applies the pressure, goes for the Dashinage, swinging Hokusei Ho around, but Hokusei Ho holds his ground. Kiribayama is in a good attacking position. He does not want to waste his golden opportunity. Kiribayama has his forehead buried into Hokusei Ho's big chest. Hokusei Ho raises. Kiribayama, but Kiribayama circles away and stays in the ring. And then Kiribayama much lower. Now he now has a right hand sh shallow grip as well. Hokuseiho is in a very defensive position. Can he raise Kiribayama's center of gravity? Kiribayama stays low. This has become a, a war of attrition. Hokuseiho forces an issue. Kiribayama backpedals, but he stays in the ring. Kiribayama still with a nice attacking position. He goes for the circle racket and good technique sequence by Kiribayama, but Kiribayama unable to finish off Hokuseiho. Hokuseiho remains in the ring. Hokuseiho fighting hard. Kiribayama flexing his muscles, but he cannot take Hokuseiho out. Again, Hokuseiho is in a very precarious position, but Kiribayama just could not get the job done, but he does right here with the Sokogake. Outside leg trip win for Kiribayama, and he goes to 11 and 2. Small prime time. Finally, here is Takakeisho. The Ozeki has seven wins and five losses right now, which means he is a win away from retaining his respected status. Takakeisho's relentless forward charge is back, and that's the main reason he has a winning record at the moment. But he is nowhere near his top form, as his mobility has been limited due to a banged up lower body. That 26-year-old Ozeki must gut it out in the home stretch to make sure that he wins one more match to remain at the second highest rank. On day 13, he locked homes with Meisei. An explosive charge and look at Takakesho slipping to the side and sending Meisei out from the rear. Takakesho wins and he goes to 8 and 5 and that means Takakesho takes care of the Kadoban, meaning that Takakesho will remain as an Ozeki. Takakesho gets the Kachi Koshi, no wins and losses with a win over Meisei and Takakesho will stay at the second highest rank of Ozeki. Alright, so before we go, here are the current standings in Makunouchi, the top division. Teru no Fuji is the sole leader. He goes to 12 and 1. Kiribayama is in second place at 11 and 2. And Asanoyama falls to 10 and 3. Alright, that'll do it for day 13 of the May tournament. The big matchup coming up tomorrow, it's Teru no Fuji against Kiribayama. Sumo Prime Time will be back to cover that showdown and a lot more. So please join us again on day 14 of the May tournament. I'm Hiro Morita. Arigato for watching and Sayonara. Hey, thanks for watching Sumo Prime Time. If you're enjoying our channel, make sure and click and subscribe and check out all of our contents.